uh, the best way to describe the Peltier effect is it's kind of the reverse of the Seebeck effect. So if you've got a temperature measurement device like a, a thermocouple, um, what happens is that when you heat the thermocouple, it produces a small voltage or an EMF in the, in the thermocouple and, uh, and you can use that to measure temperature. Well, the Pelty effect occurs the opposite way around. So in the Pelty effect, we can apply electricity to the device and it can move heat, it can pump heat. Um, and that's kind of how the Pelty effect works. It's a solid state device, which means there's no moving parts. And it works on, on, on basically on the principle of sem semiconductors. It pumps heat by, by putting an electrical input into the material. Two major advantages are, um, that, as I said, it's solid state, so there's no moving parts, which gives it uh, uh, a much better uh, in terms of reliability compared to, say, uh, a normal vapour compression refrigeration unit. Um, and the second advantage is, it's, is, is you can make small devices with it. Um, so we can uh, make the small devices and you can use them wherever we need, the, need to pump the heat. Um, and that's, that's, a, that's a big advantage. We're, we're applying it in the adjustable project in a number of ways. Um, we're looking at the heating and ventilation within the vehicle cabin itself. So we're able to uh, use it to provide cooling in the vehicle, like an air conditioning system. But we can also reverse the polarity on the thermoelectric device and it can provide heating as well. So we can use it for cooling and heating purposes. Um, and that's in the vehicle cabin for comfort. We can also use it in the battery compartment. This is a kind of a, a, a new area and the most exciting area, I think, because uh, battery systems in electric vehicles require a lot of very careful temperature control in order to maximise the life of the battery. And thermoelectrics provide a, an ideal way of applying uh, a, or pumping heat to and from the battery compartment to enable the batteries to work in their most efficient way. In, the, in the, applying the technology as far as the adjustable project is concerned, what we're able to do is we're, we're using it to provide contact heating. So uh, in, in the vehicle we can cool the seat very effectively um, and that provides contact cooling and contact heating and, co and comfort. Um, then we can uh, aim, if you like, air, uh, cooled air at the, at the occupant to provide uh, cooling effect as well. So we're not looking at, at, at cooling uh, kind of whole areas or, or the whole air volume within the vehicle cabin, we're looking at directing that cooling effect where it's most effective and that's where we can get the gains. Because uh, as I said, they're small devices, so they're, they're not as heavy. Um, we can put them in the vehicle and so it, the, 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 there's a weight gain to be had by implementing them. Um, but also because we're, we're using them in a very focused and targeted way, then we, we can find that we can reduce the overall uh, heating and cooling load on the vehicle itself and that also has a knock-on effect to the range of the electric vehicles because obviously you're not draining the battery so heavily.